Good morning. It's half eight and minus five outside. So I just want to talk about a very common problem, which is pressure loss in a heating system. So normally it's, you know, you wake up, you have to refire your pressure because there's no pressure in the boiler. It's dropping quite continuously and quite often. So what normally the issue really is, is that it's normally a flat expansion vessel. Predominantly, people seem to assume that it's a leak on the system, whereas it's, I mean, it's quite a common issue, so I'm not unsure why a lot of people don't know it, especially engineers. So what I'm gonna show you is the pipe to look for. So you might, if you've got a combi boiler and your pressure's dropping quite a lot, have a look for the, the blow-off pipe, which is on the back end of the boiler, which I'll show you now. Which if you come outside, you can see the water's been dripping. What happens is it leaks out this little this little valve here, as you can see my hand's wet, and it means the expansion vessel is flat and needs recharged. So what happens is So what happens is when your heating goes on, the water needs to expand and the water needs to expand into the expansion vessel. So if the expansion vessel is flat because it has an air balloon inside it, if it's flat, there is nowhere for the water to expand. So what happens is the water blows off, the water blows off and then goes out this safety discharge pipe. And it's a very simple case of pumping it back up. Nine times out of ten that you can just replace um, by pumping it up. There is the odd occasion that the vessels virtually burst, but I will do a little video on that today while I'm at this property because the vessel is also flat here. So this is the boiler and this is the expansion vessel here. This grey thing on the right hand side. As you'll see, when I take this bit off, it's a bit like a car tire. So you press that and you'll hear, there you go, look flat, barely any air. Water can't expand into it. So it just needs recharged and I'll do a wee video on that. So we're going back to the expansion vessel here and we've got our pump, our foot pump and we've got our vessel just down here, maybe a bit difficult one handed. Very difficult one handed. Oh, I'm good mate. I'm good. So what we're going to do is I'm hopefully we've not drained all the water out the vessel and we'll show you why we need to pump the water out them because it so that's the pump Mark's going to pump it up to one bar you see it here just any pump yet until I get outside and hopefully I see the water pumping outside right, go for it I just about broke my neck in here. There you go, you see them? That's the water getting pumped out the vessel. So it should be purely air in that vessel, in that balloon. As you can see, that's us pumping it out, recharging the vessel. Just about broke my neck there. So okay. That's why it's pivotal to have the drain valve open while doing this. You can isolate for the boiler, but I'd rather avoid shutting isolation valves off under the boiler in case the Caesar don't open back up. That's us at a bar, and we will just hold it for now for a couple of minutes to make sure the vessel's not compromised and not leaking. So we're now at a bar. I'm going to get a wee extra charge for... because I'm going to release it I'd like to be as quick as I can do that and I like to put a wee bit of thick silicon grease over the shredder valve which will stop which helps air from escaping the vessel and that's pretty much it when recharging 
the vessel, shut the drain valve, repressurise the system and it'll work like a dream. <laughs>